So Chen Chen, what are we cooking today? I'm making a beef noodle soup. Beef noodle soup. What goes into it besides beef and noodles? Basically just beef. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I put some spice and onions um, and ginger in it. Mmm. It's gonna smell good in here. Yeah. So is this a family recipe? Is this a recipe you found somewhere? How'd you come up with it? So when I grew up, like in China, my mom always make beef um, stews mm. um, in the winter. And I don't really know exactly her recipe actually. <laughs> and so because it's in the winter, she always cooks at nighttime. I always remember like when I go to bed, I smell the beef and feel like so happy that she's making it. <laughs> smells like home. Yes. Yeah. The smell of beef was a comforting smell as you went to bed. Mm -hmm. In China, when you talk about meat, if I tell you meat, what kind of meat do you usually come with? I will automatically think beef. Yeah, but that's not the case for Chinese people. Oh, interesting. What is the... What do they? What do your family think, or what do Chinese think? Well, we usually think pork. Okay. And beef is too expensive mm. <laughs> to eat. And so, like in winter, when my mom bought like a whole pound of beef, and she start cooking it, just feel like ah, oh, it's beef, <laughs> and lots of meat. So it's really happy. And plus, I'm from north part of China. It's Qingdao, right? Yeah, Qingdao. It's uh, by the ocean. Mm. People from north we love eating noodles. So I love noodle and meat. I've heard before it's like in northern China it's a lot of noodles and in southern China it's more rice. Is yeah. that accurate? Yes. Even now I like eating noodles more than rice. So is this, what would you say is like a typical Qingdao meal or like what is it known for? So in the summer, we like to eat the spicy stir-fry clams. Um, the clams we eat in Qingdao is like smaller, and the shell is like much thinner oh, nice. than here. Um, so we just stir-fried it, and Qingdao is also a city known for, for beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we drink beer and eat seafood. So sounds like a fun town. Yeah, it is. And the way we we drink beer, it's really different from the rest of the world. And we oh, how so? They they use plastic bag <laughs> as a container. Okay. And so you just take the plastic bag and put straw in it. You can just drink like that or wow. bring it home. <laughs> so is it like you? Are they already filled? There's a bucket filled with plastic bags of beer. Or you like dip the plastic bag? Uh, you just put the plastic bag, they have this. Oh, it's like a spout and you fill yeah. it. Mm -hmm. That is so interesting. Yeah. That is different than any beer I've ever seen being drunk. <laughs> I'm a defective southerner. Um, not only because <laughs> I moved from the south up here to Boston, mm -hmm. but um, I never really liked a lot of the very traditional southern foods. Mm -hmm. But I would say, so there's, have you heard of the food called grits? No. You haven't heard that before. So um, that is a food that's very typically Southern. It's something people will eat for breakfast mm -hmm. um, that I do not like, <laughs> but a lot of people really like it. So even I might even describe what it is wrong, but it's sort of like a grain of sorts. Um, to me, it's like bad oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> but so it, it's kind of in, it can even kind of look like porridge a little bit. So it's mm -hmm. got like a creamy consistency to it, mm -hmm. but there's like tiny, tiny, chunks of grain in it. I think it's mm -hmm. grain. That's right. <laughs> um, people will add cheese to it. So you can have like savory grits. So cheese, they might put, um, so there's a dish called shrimp and grits, which is like dinner. Places like Louisiana and New Orleans are known for that. So mm -hmm. it can be spicy and there's shrimp and vegetables and all, all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's the only kind of grits that I have figured out I can like and eat because it's sort of more a part of a whole dish. But mm -hmm. my mom would grow up or my mom would, as I was growing up, 
make a bowl of like cheese grits. So just like a bowl of instant grits and then put cheese in them and mix it up. Mm -hmm. It's a very popular Southern thing. So who, did you learn to cook from your mom at home? Yes, or obviously since you were in boarding school, did you, did you still cook with her when you were home on breaks and stuff? Mm -hmm. I just loved cooking mm -hmm. when I was little. I remember like when I was in elementary school, I don't remember which grade. And so I couldn't even like reach the, the pot like in a appropriate height. Yeah. And so I, I had to stand on a stool and just cooking. And I remember I was trying to make a, a really hard dish, <laughs> sweet and sour ribs, something oh, like wow. that. And I just like, I didn't even know how to cook it. I just like made it up. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna make this. But I ended up, I burned it. <laughs> so I was like, so upset. <laughs> how old were you? I don't remember, like, maybe even fourth grade or fifth oh, grade. Wow. Yeah. Sweet and sour ribs as a fourth or fifth grader, that's serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you like cooking growing up? I didn't do that. I was not that advanced. <laughs> I didn't try anything that uh -huh. that special until I was probably in my college years. But uh -huh. my mom would, would she would bake with us more. Uh -huh. Um so she would try to make figure out recipes to to bake like cookies or sweet things that would be easier for like a kid to pour something in and stir it, you know, mm -hmm. and be very simple. I don't think I got interested in learning how to really cook more complicated dishes. Probably even like during college, but even just after. I think college is where I realized, oh, I don't know how to cook. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know how to dump a, bo a pre-mixed box of something into a pan, mm -hmm. or you know how to order food at a restaurant. But mm -hmm. so I started trying a little bit then, but I didn't always have a kitchen in college. Mm -hmm. um, so really once I moved out of college is when I figured out I needed to learn how to cook some more things for myself. Do you have any favorite memories of cooking with your mom or cooking with one of your parents growing up? Um, like making dumplings is always fun. Because um, dumpling making, it's pretty popular around like the, the Lunar New Year, is that right? Yes. Um, and because like Northerners, we make lots of um, dumplings, and like Southerners, they don't even know how to. <laughs> <laughs> Is this why when we when we make dumplings with international students here, you're sort of our our expert <laughs> dumpling maker? Yeah. You're yeah. our northern we dumpling learned maker. And growing up, and we that's like what we do. How many years ago? Almost seven years ago mm -hmm. that we met. And then we started working together. Well, we sort of started working together that year, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I guess six years ago. Yes. Do you feel like you get to use your cooking skills? You know, we do a lot of things with students who don't get to cook their own meals and mm -hmm. international students that miss their home food. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you've been able to help, like, I don't know, do home cooked meals for any students that you feel like has been helpful to them feeling more like they're at home. Yes, I think so. Like some of the dumpling parties, mm -hmm. we try it, and sometimes I make some dishes and bring to the students, mm -hmm. or even students come to my home. <coughs> so I have once I remember I made a, a beef stew, different from this one. Uh, I had uh, some Japanese students came, and so I had a udo noodle and with the. School and they really liked it, and That's so fun. that was good. So many opportunities. Like I feel like working with international students, like we always share something common with food, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. trying different kind of food is fun. Yeah, even if you don't, even if everyone doesn't have the same home food, mm -hmm. everybody misses a home food. Exactly. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. everyone can connect yeah. on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.